Oh, baby. Ooh. Ooh, baby. Huh? Oh, baby. You hear that? You hear huh? that? I'm getting steamed up. <laughs> yeah, that's Nathan making that noise. The second the stream started, a somebody say went by. Say stream or steam. steam. We're doing a Twitch steam today. Yeah. Hi everyone. We Hello. almost missed this. All of us almost missed the stream. Yes. We're all late. <laughs> We all forgot until it was time to do the stream. So here well, we here, are. Here's the thing. We all awakened in strange places. Yeah. What better spirit to start this stream off on than just like <laughs> disgruntled? <laughs> I'm going back to sleep. I'll go to, I'll go to sleep in a strange place. Julia sleep in a strange place. The west of, west of us wake in a strange place. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? 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 The rest of us just woke up from our nappies. <laughs> I was just like sitting here sipping my coffee, watching YouTube videos, just having a nice time. And then I saw the time and I was like, oh no! <laughs> Bro, I've been there. Uh oh! I'm not having a nice time. But now we're having a nice time again because we're here streaming for you. Thank you for tuning in to our uh, our first ever Thursday bonus stream as Twitch partners. Yeah. yeah. Is that correct? Yeah. That's correct. correct. Yes. Look at us. Uh, it's, it's also the day before my birthday. So. Yay. Oh, happy Nathan birthday. Happy, happy Nathan, Nathan birthday. birthday. Happy Nathan birthday. birthday. Happy Nathan birthday. Happy wow, birthday. Wow, 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 wow. My birthday. I want to play You Awaken in a Strange Place with all of you. <laughs> I'm glad that's what you wanted because that's what you that's, have to do. Yeah, that's what I wanted. <laughs> that works I, out. I insisted. <laughs> I insisted and then almost forgot, but then I remembered and then I insisted again. Um, <laughs> for those who don't know, You Awaken in a Strange Place is a, a one shot role playing game of, of mine own invention. Yeah. And uh, we played it on stream a while back and, and people really seemed to like it. And so we wanted to do it again, but this time we were going to have Nathan run the game. And it's, I'm gonna be a character. A, it's an FAQ. It's an FAQ on the on the Discord. Are you going to play this game again? And uh, <laughs> now now you have your answer. It's yes. Yes, yeah. it's happening right now. <laughs> yes, and it's happening right now. And You're will welcome. we play it again after this? Probably. Ooh, that's that's gonna be an FAQ. Yeah, that's, that's the new sure. question. The new will hot you play FAQ. Once once even again after. Don't that. make me add another thing to the FAQ. I'm running out of words. <laughs> Rev up those fryers, Julia. We got more FAQs. Oh, no. Uh, um, somebody on chat said Julia doing her taxes in the background. <laughs> it does kind of look like that. <laughs> I'm here yeah, as the legal representation. It? No, Julia's just doodling because our intro is not interesting enough for her. <laughs> just, wow. She's wow. got to keep the brain active. We're all sleepy. It's a sleepy, snowy day. My yeah. coffee really hasn't kicked is. in yet. It's snowy outside. Uh, I also wanted to say before we started that I, it was my intention to put the to put my game on to itch.io so people could find it and download it easier, but I forgot to do that. Jacob, <laughs> you Jacob was it. sipping coffee and I was watching sipping YouTube coffee and watching videos. YouTube videos. Yeah. You can he was do about to do it, and then it was like yeah. <laughs> two fifty-five. <laughs> uh, so I will do it later, probably right yeah. afterwards, and then I'll I'll tweet about it. So go to my Twitter. Yeah, uh, you know what? We there. might eat, we'll we'll RT it from Drawfee, probably. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I have control over that, so I can make that happen. You can make it happen. I could make it happen. We can all make it happen. Not me. Julia can't make. Well, Julia <laughs> can, but she won't. I mean, I can't make it happen. I don't have the Twitter. <laughs> Karina can't make it happen. We haven't given her that power yet. Which is <laughs> <laughs> <Just> fine. <laughs> uh, do we want to get get into the game? Let's get into the game. Let's get sure. let's a little bit of a refresher. I'm just going to sort of be reading from the game doc. Yeah, I don't remember actually how to play. <laughs> of what you, you made might this. expect. Yeah, yeah, you wrote it. But I, then I haven't looked at it since we played it last time, and now well, I forgot how it goes. I guess to be fair, I Google all of my Draw Detectives characters when I have to remember what one of them looks like. So this is fair. Oh, that's, Easier than just looking too. in your files. <laughs> just Google it. Yeah. 
It's just easier. Sometimes Thank you to everyone running the wiki. Yeah, yeah. Shout too. out to the Draw Detectives wiki. Very helpful. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, it, it actually, Jacob, uh, not remembering anything you wrote for this is is perfect because the very first bullet point, the first core tenet of the game is everyone comes to the game unprepared. Unprepared is bolded. Got it. Check that one off the list. So we did that. We did that. (laughs) So much. (laughs) The second core tenet of the game, anything the GM, that's me for uh, for this time playing, or the players say about the world is true about the world. And the game must be finished in one session. Classic. So, you know, that's just improv. Yeah. Am I taking so, improv classes? I think I invented improv independently. <laughs> yeah. Jacob invented improv, but with dice. Yeah. <laughs> um, what you'll need to play, paper, writing utensils. Julia already has those ready to go. I don't I have one. <laughs> she says as <laughs> writing on Julia's paper. Julia's in a mood today. We're going to be <laughs> resistant. In a little bit of we a all mood. came with our best Thursday I'm mood. So, I'm so excited. This is going to have such a fun energy, this game. Uh, and then a 2d6, that's your standard six-sided die. You just need two of those per player for some sort of dice rolling uh, internet function. Yes. Um, Julia, did you have a question? You raised your hand. I did, and then Nathan answered it. Oh, okay. I don't have any dice. But then he said I'm allowed to use a dice roller. So You're allowed okay. to use a dice roller. We're Thank casual you. here. I mean, you already knew that, but... <laughs> <laughs> Um, we've already chosen me to be the game master, uh, and now I am unto a god, or as I said before the stream started, onto a god. Yeah, Nathan's onto <laughs> a god, and he won't I'm get onto off. a god. <laughs> get There's down a god. From there. <laughs> There's a god, and I'm onto them. It's dangerous, <laughs> Nathan. They're they're pretty tall. What if you fall? <laughs> god will catch me. Um, so I'm the GM. Each of you. Roll your 2d6. Nah, beans. I got a seven. I got a five. Okay. I have to roll 2d6? Uh Uh-huh. Yep. (laughs) I got 12. Wow. That's That's the the highest you could roll. I got a nat 12. Nat 12, baby. Nat 12, critical... At Critical. the most vital point of the game. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Can't wait for this to be my only good roll. <laughs> uh, so, Julia, since you rolled the highest, you are going to now silently think of a genre. Now, last uh, time we did this using chat, do we want to do yeah. that again? Oh, sure. So, so everyone uh, in chat should start okay, typing in chat. genres. Start yeah. typing in genres. Julia, silently choose one, but don't tell us yet. Uh, and I guess once you have your choice, let us know so that chat knows they can stop. Got it. Great. Uh, Jacob, you rolled middleist. Mm-hmm. So you are going to think of an adjective. So now chat, we need adjectives. Give me adjectives, chat. And again, Jacob, uh, once you have your adjective, let chat know so they can take a break. Hmm. There's some good adjectives. (laughs) All right, I've got it. A lot of them have to do with moisture. Interesting. (laughs) (laughs) A lot of different ways to convey different amounts of moisture. Really good. Uh, And Karina, you are going to think of a location. So chat, help us out with some locations. Locations, please. Vocations, please. No, no, not that one. (laughs) Don't type vocations. We need locations. Eldritch invocations. Oh, there are some tempting ones here, but I don't know if I should. Follow your heart, Karina. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know if I should inflict that upon the rest of you. That's all. (laughs) Yeah, these are all. You were deciding sort of the trajectory of uh, our next 
couple hours. So yeah. <laughs> bear that in mind as yes. you choose. Um... <laughs> but we're going to make it fun no matter what. Because we are okay, all I friends. Got it. And we like it. <laughs> we like it. We, we like want it. to be here. <laughs> <laughs> we do. <laughs> I do. Um, okay. okay. I, I chose. Great. I'm sorry, chat. I didn't, I did not pick Neopia. It's not fair to the rest of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Say your, your ones. Let's go. Let's go in order. Julia, what is the genre? Wild West. Okay. Wild West. All right. <laughs> Was that um, great? All right. Wild West. And our adjective. The adjective I'm is. Gonna write, I'm going to take some notes. Yeah. The adjective is jazzy. Oh, jazzy jazzy wild, wild West. Whoa. Yeah. This is my and kind where, of Wild West. And where is this jazzy Wild West? I hop. <laughs> <laughs> the International House of Pancakes. First... Well, well, well. <laughs> if it isn't my favorite stack of pancakes. <laughs> so good. Root and two is... best pancakes this side of the Mississippi. <laughs> oh, I'm oh, this is gonna be great. Okay. Um now we're going to go back around uh, in the same order. So Julia, Jacob, Karina, and each of you is just, they're just going to say something about the world of this wild, this jazzy Wild West IHOP. And uh, as, as stated uh, before, anything you say instantly becomes true about the world. Feel free to take your time and think about it or just say the first thing that comes to your mind. Uh, we're, we're building the world here. Jazzy Wild West IHOP. Jazzy Wild West IHOP. <laughs> so good. I have a rule for the world. Yeah. There are no sheriffs at Jazzy IHOP. No sheriffs. Lawless. A lawless Jazzy uh, IHOP. At IHOP. Are there sheriffs um, outside of, of IHOP? They're just not allowed in? They're just not allowed inside. They're of the not. Jazzy the, IHOP. I, IHOP is a sheriff-free zone. Yeah, no it's sheriffs like, allowed. It's no like uh, international allowed. waters. Gotcha. It has its own laws. <laughs> the international. It's it is the international house yeah. of pancakes. There are no law. It's pancake law, only. The only <laughs> law of IHOP is pancake. <laughs> um, All I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, great, Jacob. Um, so this is kind of a, a little world world building piece here. Yeah. Um, in in this world, um, instead of like bandits, like roving groups of bandits, mm -hmm. um, roving jazz bands are roving. common uh, going in their buses throughout. Jazz. Are they like lawless? Throughout the desert. Yeah, like lawless gangs of jazz bands uh, roving throughout the West. So they, do they do they 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 play jazz, but they also do crimes. That's the. I mean, unclear. Okay, <laughs> I'm not we sure. just know that they just rove and they play, most, they definitely are jazz bands. So like, if you're in a gang, that gang plays jazz music. Yes. Like that. Okay. Chad great, is saying great. jazz bandits, and they're correct. Jazz bandits. Jazz bandits. Great. Um. And one more thing about this world full of jazz bandits mm. and lawless pancake houses. Oh, man. Um, animals can talk. Animals can talk. They're still animals. But they... They can communicate. They are still animals great 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 um and now uh b -b 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 
now we now we can just work together and use these facts to form a more complete picture of the world. I feel like we were sort of doing that as we went, but um, so basically, this is a world where animals can talk. It's it's a big wild west sort of sort of frontier society where IHOPs are these. I, I guess they're they're like onto saloons. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're 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 salute they're sort of safe havens from the law. Um <laughs> people people sort of band band together literally in bands. Um jazz is the is is jazz the only music or it's just the music of choice. I mean for... it's probably not the only music in the world. Mm-hmm. But in this area that's sort yeah. of the prevailing. So this is sort of like a zone of the world that's like and here, here's a question: Are there multiple IHOPs, or is there just one IHOP that's like the <laughs> I think the international one. house of pancakes? I think there's one, yeah. but it's really big. Oh, okay, is one. It like yeah. the, um, I think I think that's important. It's like the dis- Vampire Club from uh, from Dusk Till Dawn. Okay, <laughs> like the big truck stop party house. The so this is the the international house of pancakes. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and maybe there's you some, know the one. There's some sort of like mysticism revolving around the talking animals. Okay, I like that. Like they're out there, and you find them, and they have some some knowledge of some kind. Like they're a, <laughs> they're like a known quantity. These like talking creatures. Yeah. <laughs> Great, 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 great. Okay. Um, any any other any other tidbits y'all y'all want to flesh out about this? I've got a, like a pretty good picture of what we're dealing with here. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about it. Okay, we're feeling good. Uh, well, that, now it's time to create our characters. Um. So again, roll the 2d6, uh, and that'll determine the order you create your characters. Four. Great. Five. Seven. (laughs) Nice. (laughs) (laughs) Julia is first again. Uh, So Julia, describe your character. And uh, feel free to use chat uh, for inspiration if you want. Uh, this is your character. Uh, <laughs> Matt. Oh my God. <laughs> Matt. Julia. Julia. What your is- Thursday you- mood is you wild. Don't, you don't. You don't have. I mean, you don't have. <laughs> Maybe you that's the do- description. <laughs> Julia's character is. Ah! <laughs> I saw one that I liked immediately, and it okay. was I am a snake in a boot. <laughs> okay. Uh, does your snake have a name? Yeah. What's my snake name? A snake. In a, so you are one of the mystical talking animals. Yeah, I'm one of yeah, the snakes in the boot. You're allowed. You don't have to be, but you're allowed to be. <laughs> I'm not going to be Snilk. Y'all, <laughs> no, that's not a that snake name. That's not a name. That's a snobject. <laughs> <laughs> I think my name is Boots. Snobject. Boots. Boots. I'm Boots, the snake in the boot. Great. Um, Everyone knows me for my 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 boot is beautiful. By the way, ooh. it's this beautiful vintage, worn in, well traveled boot. It's well crafted. <laughs> Very good. Important. Uh, and so now you are going to come up with four skill verbs to apply to your character. And you're going to write these down. Uh, one skill that you're amazing at, one skill that you're good at, one skill that you're bad at, and one skill that you're horrible at. Um, and so the skill that you're amazing at, you're going to write plus two next to that. The skill that you're good at, you're going to write plus one next to. The skill that you're bad at, you're going to write minus one. And the one that you're horrible at, you're horrible bad, horrible at, you're going to write minus two. And, and uh, everyone's going to write down these skills because any skill that you say in character creation is a skill that like anyone can have to roll for throughout the game. Um, so it's good to make note of what all the skills that are available are. 
Um, I feel like the thing that I'm really bad at. Okay, starting with this is this is uh horrible. You're you're minus yeah. two. Okay. Is holding items. Holding. Great. I'm gonna put items in uh, parentheses. Yeah, just holding not your thing. Um, I'm trying to think of things that snakes are bad at. <laughs> Not a lot, huh? <laughs> snakes are pretty good at most things, I yeah, guess. They're incredible. Yeah. <laughs> Very talented. Yeah, people are saying walking. Walking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how my snake ambulates in this boot. Really? Yeah, is the boot like you're in the boot? Yeah. Uh -huh. But you it's do be a hop, right? Like, do you? Yeah, do you hop in the boot or do you get out of the boot and like push it to where you need to go and then get back in? <laughs> That'd be hard. Do that. They're bad at holding. <laughs> yeah, <we're, laughs> but you don't have to hold it. You just sort of nudge it along. No. <laughs> I guess it's it, up to you. It's your, it it's like your character. A little boot on the end of your tail. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like that. Yeah. It's your boot. I have a little boot. Okay. Yeah. So it's okay. a little boot. Yeah. So I'm wearing this little boot. Okay. On your tail. Yeah. What uh, What kind of snake, by the way? Is this a, a venomous kind of snake? A uh, a constrictor? Just sort of a little. I think I'm, I think I'm a venomous snake. A rattler? Yeah, I think I'm like a rattler. So you got a boot on your Ooh. rattle? Yeah. <laughs> no one expects it. Yeah. <laughs> I was a rattler this whole time. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, I'm bad at holding things. I'm bad at... Um... Oh, I'm bad at uh, appreciating music. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's appreciating. a skill like we have now is appreciating music. <laughs> yeah. I love it. If you if you recall, uh, <laughs> two of the skills from the last time we played were remembering and forgetting. Yeah, and yeah. who chose those? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so appreciating music is absolutely going to be a relevant skill. Uh, for this game. Okay, and, so now my positives. Yeah, now your positives. Mm -hmm. So you're not you're not the best at appreciating music, but you're a little better at appreciating music than you are at holding items. So I think my plus one is going to be biting. Biting. Okay. Got to be pretty right. Good, pretty good at biting. And then I think my plus two is like conversational skills. Mm -hmm. Okay. So conversations. Con conversations. Conversation plus two. A really, you're just a good talker. You just like <laughs> don't appreciate the music, but you can still hold a conversation. Everyone about wants to the talk music. about my boot. You know, it's made me. It's made me good at, at socializing. <laughs> like, wow, where'd you get that boot? And you're like, it's a it's a conversation piece. Let me for tell sure. you. Great. All right. What else do we do? Find out about character. Um. Great. That's it. Now now we move on. Uh, it was Karina was next, right? Yep. Mm hmm So I had an idea mm -hmm. just on my own before Julia chose hers. <laughs> Is it also a snake? No, it's a horse. Yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so I want to be just a horse. <laughs> What's your horse's name? Um... Hmm, should I have like a horse name or a racehorse name? <laughs> I guess it depends whether it's a horse or a racehorse. It's just a regular horse. It's just a regular horse. So its name is Peaches. Peaches. Peaches and Boots. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and once again, four skills. Hmm. Amazing, good, okay. bad, and horrible. I think for amazing... Running fast. Running fast. <laughs> Running slow, though, you can't do. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll take this one from the chat that 
from earlier, but for my good tax evasion. <laughs> tax evasion. How are you gonna tax evade? How are you gonna horse? tax this horse? Yeah. But I'm good at it. Your horse is not um, good at taxes, or is he good at tax evasion for others? I guess we'll find out. Yeah. Um. I guess I could have given my horse a kicking ability, but no, I gave him tax evasion. Yeah, <laughs> I like it. Uh, what should I be bad at? Maybe he's a what... nonviolent horse. Every, everyone can bite, so that's important. yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that's just nice to think about. <laughs> yeah, we can all bite. <laughs> um, hmm. What I, what do horse? bad what do horse bad um they frighten easily they can't swim <laughs> yeah, maybe okay like i'm bad at swimming swimming bad at swimming <laughs> is there yeah. even like water <laughs> in the ihop maybe <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's like probably the, will uh, be now Maybe it's like the Rainforest Cafe where they have like a little pool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> where you can swim. <laughs> in syrup. Oh. Everyone's bad at um, swimming in there. Because Julia already put holding items. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So should not repeat that. So um, I think I'm bad at dancing. Okay. Or worst worst horrible at dancing just the worst really bad dancing so not just did not i make really... a great character or what yes. Hell yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> really well-rounded lad I, th I think it's good i think it's really good i i'm i'm excited it just All sounds right, like Jacob. an anxiety horse <laughs> <laughs> i think that's what i'm feeling today i think yeah. that's the thursday mood we should all that's... just be our thursday mood and mine's is peaches <laughs> the horse <laughs> yeah all right jacob what do you got um well i definitely want to be a, a jazz man okay so i'm imagining a man he's got sort of like a if, if you know the the character jigen from lupin the third Oh, he's got like I. the suit and the hat over his eyes and like the beard, like a goatee beard. Yeah. Kind of a mysterious fella. Uh, that's the kind of look I'm thinking. His name is Marvin Martin. <laughs> <laughs> Marvin Martin. And he carries a, uh, a large um, like baritone saxophone, like one of the big saxes on his back. Oh, what, uh, sorry, Karina, what, what color, uh, is peaches? Um, what does peaches look like? Um, sorry, Jacob, like, like, a uh, hmm, just brown. Brown. <laughs> yeah. It's just brown, a horse. <laughs> brown, brown coat, brown mane, just full brown. Yeah. Just, just Great. imagine a brown horse. Just a brown horse. You <laughs> That's got peaches. It. You got Love it, buddy. It. It's just a horse. It's just just a horse. <laughs> Not just yeah. Just a horse. Okay. Um what are your skills, Jazzman Marvin Martin? Um well he's definitely amazing at jazzing. Jazzing. Great. And then I think he's also he's good at um intimidating intimidating sure i'm realizing now that we've also just created a situation where i get to do york voice again perfect it's the only voice i have and it always comes up it's a good voice deckard from our, our offline gaming yeah similar that's similar sort of voice <laughs> um okay let's see what's what's he bad at i feel like he's bad at I'm trying to think of something we haven't already like covered here mm-hmm Flirting, I like that. 
flirting. He's bad at right. flirting. Oh, he doesn't have any game. He's got no oh, game. That's unfortunate. And people think that he does because he's intimidating and, uh, and good at jazzing. Yeah. But then when you get in the conversation, he doesn't know. <laughs> doesn't know what to do. <laughs> Uh, and then I think he's really bad. <laughs> Just looking at Chad here. <laughs> um, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say lying. I don't know if you can hear, but someone outside is honking up a storm. <laughs> So he can't flirt and he really can't lie. Great. Uh, and now uh, I come up with four additional skill verbs oh, that's right. uh, for, oh, for the boy. game. And chat, uh, certainly happy to to have some uh, some help with this. I saw cooking and I do think cooking is going to be important. Um, in the IHOP. <laughs> I've seen kissing and pissing so many times. All right, kissing. We deserve to have kissing again. Okay, kissing, kissing will be one. So we've got cooking, kissing. Um, hmm, reading is good. I like reading. <laughs> so right now all of our characters are neutral at reading. You're all you're all kind of neutral at reading. And then since uh uh we mentioned kicking with um with uh Kareem. Ah, sweet. I, I'm going to I'm going to say I'm just going to say I'm going to put fighting. Okay. We've got fighting fighting can be sort of a catch-all um for any any non-biting based <laughs> Um, <laughs> if you bite, it's a different skill. Um, <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, great. Uh, and so the uh, the way again for for anyone watching, the way that like skill checks are going to work in this game is uh, you roll the two d six to add or subtract whatever your modifier is. If the result is a um uh a 10 plus it is a full success if it is a uh, seven to nine it is a mixed success which means you do what you want but uh there's a a price to pay uh and then <laughs> six or less is a failure you fail to do what you want but you get to um you get to mark experience uh, which is basically sort of a pool. A every time you fail, you gain ex you gain from the experience, and you get a, uh, a bonus that you can save to use on a future roll. That was actually an addition added after we played last time. Yes, huh? through, through some workshopping. I think it was Nathan's idea. Actually, it was my it? idea. Wow. Because yeah. I think it works um, really well that if you fail a skill, you get a little bonus point later. You can add to your yeah it's basically like if you if you mess up a bunch at the beginning your your character gets better over because it's just one session so yeah. um it's good it's it's nice to have some way to like improve over the course of the session uh and then uh you also you also have hp right where is hp oh yeah um um bu -bu 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 -bu. hopefully i have it on there i think i do i'm gonna Mine gonna... says ten from last time. I think that makes sense. 10. Is it ten? Ten sounds good. If it's not on the sheet, that's a problem I'll have to address. Yep, you have ten HP. Okay, good. Uh, you start with ten HP and any items it would make sense for your characters to have. So Julia, you've Oops. got your boot. Jacob, you've got your sacks. <laughs> um, horse. Peaches. <laughs> Peaches. Peaches can have. <laughs> Anything it makes sense a horse to have. Um, <laughs> Blanket. And um, yeah. like a saddle. Horses have saddles typically. Little, yeah, you can have a, a saddle. Little, little Just wander in. Yeah. Oh, and if you want bag. to assist one of your teammates on your roll, you can use uh, one of your skill verbs to help them out. And uh, you roll uh, on, on that skill. 
And if you get a success, you add plus two to their roll. A mixed success adds plus one. And a failure means that you share whatever harm uh, happens. Um, mm. During gameplay, you could still make new statements about the world that become true, but now you have to roll for it. Interesting. Okay. So yeah, if you want to do any world building uh, during the game, that's that's another. I guess world building is another skill check. Um, and bu -bu 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 -bu. that was made specifically because last time we ran into things like I think it was Julia said something like her character could just like teleport. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I had a hat. <laughs> It was magic. You had a magic hat. Yes. Yeah. yeah, it um, made sense. Yeah, if you want to come up with like cool magic items that exist in the world, you have to roll to see if they work, I guess. Or yeah. like it can that, end up being uh it, it can end up being against you if you roll bad. Okay, okay. And now um now I get five minutes to jot down notes and ideas before the game you just begins. Get five minutes to have some you time. Yeah, um, you deserve it. So I'm going to, you guys vamp for me. I'm going to mute <laughs> myself and, and take off the headphones. Okay. Yeah. And and uh, in five minutes, we will uh, commence Jazzy Wild West IHOP. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> the new classic. Jacob, I have a question for you. Yes. The roles. I know that there was a there was a whoopsie doodles last time with what constituted a success and a fail and a yeah, and a mix. I fixed all that. Yeah, what are the <clears> numbers? <throat> uh it's six and below is a failure. Um seven to nine oh. is a mixed success, and then ten to twelve is a Okay. Is a big success. Wow. I believe is the, the new spread. Cause I had just done it wrong last time. It was cool because it was like a learning experience playing it last time. <laughs> yeah. And then I like opened it up to people in the Discord for uh, like commentary, people who had experience with game making. So I got a lot of really good input on like things I could adjust to make it work better. And for everyone asking, just to re-update, uh, the game we're playing is called You Awaken in a Strange Place. It's one that I made. Um, I know. I think I see mods posting the link to it in the chat occasionally. So. If you're interested, you can you can get the the PDF of it um, that? from that link from my Twitter, oh. and hopefully also I'm going to put it up on itch.io at some point soon so that it'll be easier to access for people. Joy's joy has perished. Rip. Our cat looks dead. Sometimes she gets too warm and she crawls out of her bed and just collapses on the floor <laughs> to cool down. She's going to awaken in a strange place. She is. We had to request um, <laughs> for a quick re-summary of all of our characters because someone had just joined. Okay. So mm -hmm. do we want to go back over it again? Yeah. I'm Boots. I'm a snake in a boot. Uh, my best skill is conversation and then biting, and then my bad skills are appreciating music and very mm. bad at holding. <laughs> Um, my character is Peaches. He's just a horse. <laughs> He's very good at running fast. He's pretty good at tax evasion. He's kind of bad at swimming and awful at dancing. And I've got Marvin Martin. <laughs> he's a he's a jazz man. I feel like we should say too that the world we've established here is a jazzy Wild West IHOP. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um, where there's no sheriffs. It's a lawless inside the IHOP. Uh, jazz bandits are common, and they rove the the countryside with their playing their jazz and doing crimes. And animals can talk here in this world. Um, and I've Marvin Martin is a is a jazz man. He's got a baritone saxophone. He's really good at jazzing and intimidating, and he's really bad at flirting and lying. So, is this the first episode? <laughs> Casey the Dreamer asks. Uh, the way this game works is that it's always a one shot, so it's always the first episode. Yeah. Um, in the last one we played, it was a it was a sexy space Titanic. Spicy, yeah. spicy space Titanic. Yeah, yeah. My other sheet is right here, actually, from the last time we played. It was really fun. I have my drawing of my toucan, my magician toucan. <laughs> I was really excited to see if Jacob was also gonna just make an animal. <laughs> <laughs> I thought and about I'm it. 
but it's, I'm, it's nice that you didn't. Yeah, I can live in your boot now. I'm just a horse. I like the idea of like, I was imagining like sort of walking out of like out of the hazy distance, uh, Marvin Martin like <laughs> leading a horse and a snake in a boot, <laughs> going next to him. It's like, what's their story? <laughs> Uh, and feel free to do fan art. Someone asked if it was okay to do fan art. Um, absolutely. <laughs> we got a bunch last time. It was super fun to look at when we yeah. were done. So definitely do fan art and you can uh, send, send it on the, t the tweets. I see Nathan's headphones back on. Yeah. There he Ooh. is. There's our boy. Okay. Okay. I think... Uh, I think we're ready to go. So, uh, All right. um, you awaken in a strange place. What? <gasps> he said the thing. He said the thing. Yeah. He, said, he said the name of the show in the show. <laughs> yeah. The rules do specify that you have to say that at the beginning. You have to say that you awaken in a strange place. He said place. the thing because he had to. He had to do it or else he was breaking the rules. <laughs> you know he had to do it. <laughs> Um, so yeah, you, uh, y'all, y'all wake up and, um, the first thing that you notice is you all have pretty splitting headaches. Oh, um, oh. pretty, pretty, uh, pretty splitting headaches. Uh, your vision's a little blurred. You're sort of coming to, um, we hit the syrup and pretty hard last night, huh? You you find yourself in um, in a gigantic booth, uh, <laughs> like sort of a like a, a, a hotel room sized booth. Wow! Uh, what? On, uh, so big sort of leather uh, upholstery. Uh, a table spread with um, that's that's just been sort of decimated syrup and uh, little bits of pancake and <laughs> various breakfast <laughs> just all over the table. Um, and yeah, this is this is a booth that is large enough to seat a horse, a snake, and a jazz man. Um, so the size of a hotel, a hotel room. Ah, a hotel room. Okay. Each, yeah. yeah. It's a it's a it's a room <laughs> it's a room sized booth. Um Wow. And uh yeah, y'all you, you wake up and you, you see uh this this mess on the table and uh and you see each other. Oh, Y'all remember what we did last night? I am not usually one to go too hard on the pancakes, but what did we do? Uh, is this an IHOP? <laughs> yeah, I reckon it's the IHOP. <laughs> the only one we got here in eh? the Wild West. <laughs> <laughs> can, um, I, I do hate to interrupt, but can can someone, sorry. Can someone peel me off of my seat? I, I think I I think I am stuck to my seat by syrup. Oh yeah, of course. Let me let me get you there. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I, I peel boots off the, the oh, syrup. God. Where... Oh. I tried to help with my big hooves, but I'm just a horse, so I just knocked over some of the dishes and syrup <laughs> bottles on the table. Whoa there, peaches. Whoa there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's all good. I hope we didn't run afoul of any of the local IHOP populace. You know how it gets in here, and no sheriffs <laughs> and all. And uh, I usually try to avoid spots like this, but I guess we'll see. Um, you hear a uh, a knock at the at the door of this booth room that you're in. Should I go get that? Yeah, Peaches, would you mind? <laughs> I can't open I, doors. I get out of my seat and I trot over to the door, but I can't open it with my hooves. <laughs> Come on, Peaches, you can do it. 
<laughs> We've been working on this. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. Um, should I roll to hold the doorknob with both of my hooves? <laughs> or even uh, bite it? Yeah, you can try it. Yeah, if, oh. if, if, you're, if you're trying to hold it, uh, you can roll holding items. If you're trying to bite it, you can roll bite. Uh, God's up to you. third hand, the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'll roll to bite it. Okay. I got a four. All right, mark uh, mark one in your experience <laughs> pool that you can now uh, advance towards uh, <laughs> to towards future rolls. Is that um, any roll? Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. It's a it's a one time bonus you can apply to a future roll once you once you've used it. Uh, it's gone, but uh, you can you can store them right. You can you can save yeah. them. Okay. Okay. Cool. Uh, yeah. And. Is there a maximum you can apply to a roll? It's is it is it plus two? Yeah, ma maximum plus two for a single roll. Uh, great, great, great. So damn, uh, Jacob, you really covered everything in that doc, huh? You did. <laughs> Every time you ask a question, I'm like, I don't know if I put that in. <laughs> you did though. It's a good doc. People should look out for it whenever you uh, remember to upload it. Uh, but because you fail at uh, at biting the doorknob, you uh, you do you you chip a tooth, and so you're going to take uh, one damage to Damn. your HP total. Um, and uh, and the door is still uh, closed. Well, peaches, you you, 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 know hear, you, you hear the knock <laughs> again, louder and a bit more uh, frantic. I did my best. We always talk about this, and then the, your best is the best you could do. And if you tried, then I'm still proud of you. Thanks, Marvin. And then I toot my horn. <laughs> I love it, when he does that. <laughs> I toot my horn to punctuate the sentiment with a little, a little sound that sounds like I'm supporting you. Um, <laughs> is that is that a but jazzing the... roll? Roll jazzing. For that, for oh that no! Tune. It was supposed to be just an uncontested toot. <laughs> it, you don't uh no, let's let's just let's just roll jazzing to see how good of a toot i got is. a 10 okay a Damn. fantastic toot i don't a really know if good that was any good but <laughs> oh my god i'm glad you yeah. did it I Wait, julia, great. julia roll appreciating music please yeah. both of you <laughs> right. both both of you roll appreciating music uh wait i toot. roll yeah both of you oh, do i roll man. one d6 oh i roll two right, two right, d6 right. and uh yeah you get your minus i got a two, two. I got, got snake eyes. <laughs> I got a six. <laughs> Please don't let me chip my tooth again. <laughs> um, despite how good of a, a toot it was, uh, neither of you really appreciate it. It's it's. I think you're still coming out of your your pancake bender induced stupor, uh, and the toot is just. It's a little bit too loud. Uh, ah. Both of you. I'm sorry. I should have considered the volume of my tooths. <laughs> Anyways, let me get the door. Thanks. Great. I'm gonna open the door. You open the sorry, door. It's kind of wet. <laughs> yeah. Um. You open the door and you see standing in front of you uh, a little a little waiter. Uh, a little. Looking, um. How little chat. <laughs> we need to know how little this waiter is. We need to know is. how little little this waiter is. It's He's important. Pretty, uh... <laughs> oh yeah, chat's right, Nathan. They should bank a failure for failing to appreciate my tunes. Yeah, yeah. You all, you all bank. Yeah, you, both of you get uh, a uh, a failure um, bonus, and I'm not, I'm not gonna. Um, I don't think the toot does damage. So <laughs> okay. I think, I think that's. I think that. Make that'd my be, head ring a little bit. Um, three feet. This is a, a three foot tall uh, little man, uh, little little boy man, and he goes, oh, oh boy, oh, it's it's bad, <laughs> it's real bad out there. Oh, oh ex ex excuse me, you you wouldn't happen to know where the uh, where the head where the head pancake chef went. Would now, you? Now slow down there, little buddy. Uh, we you all just don't even say the word pancake. No, not like that. Not like that. To... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I frankly, we all just woke up. I think we, last thing we want to hear right now is pancakes. 
after the you night we had. You just said it. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, I, I, yeah. I mean, la last night was the was was the annual pancake jubilee, the the greatest <laughs> night of pancakes in in uh, in in the in the whole wild jazzy west. But oh, of course, that explains a lot. I, I mean, things get pretty wild normally, but but nothing like this. The the entire kitchen's in 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 shambles, and and I can't find the head pancake chef anywhere. I mean, have have y'all seen? You haven't seen the pancake chef, have you? Boots, peaches. I've been asleep. I've I've been in a in a boot. <laughs> yeah, I reckon that's true. It's true. I don't even know what he looks like. What does he look like? Yeah, son? who's this? <laughs> who's who is this? Oh, everyone knows what the what the head pancake chef looks like. I don't. I'm a horse. I'm not everyone, son. <laughs> I don't yeah. mind much for pancakes. We don't I like crawled to... in here to find a warm place to sleep. It's mighty cold out there. <laughs> Boots no. didn't eat any pancakes. They just <laughs> ended up here <laughs> covered in syrup. <laughs> well, legend says that the head pancake chef drank of the of the <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> of the of the eternal syrup and it changed him <laughs> so he's part man, part cake. I feel like I'd remember seeing a man like that. Sounds like a true He's one of a cake. kind. Which parts yeah. are cake? Well, his head, obviously. He's the head pancake chef. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> he did it. Uh... <laughs> yeah, he's a he's he's a, a, a tall man who uh, has the head. Uh, his head is a pancake with uh, Gordon Ramsay's face. Is what, oh my uh, god! <laughs> so course. Gordon Ramsay is a character in this. Universe. No, it's just Gordon Ramsay's. He just looks just like Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> we don't know oh. that though. Gordon Ramsay. Is, yeah, his yeah. name is. Uh, his name. His name is just Head Pancake Chef. I have a horse question. Who's Gordon Ramsay? <laughs> <laughs> now, let me tell you before you answer. Horse questions are different from normal questions in that you mm -hmm. have to answer them honestly. Mm -hmm. Can't lie to a I horse. I can tell if you lie. Well, uh... <laughs> wait. <laughs> Are you asking the waiter who Gordon Ramsay is? Yeah. <laughs> well, Gordon Ramsay is a jazz man, of course. Wow. One of the most Just legendary like there is. I've been chasing his shadow my whole life. But that's not oh. neither here nor there nor nowhere right now. It sounds like we got a head pancake chef problem on our hands. Classic IHOP issue. <laughs> yeah, and I'm I'm starting to get worried because if if the head pancake chef doesn't show up soon, we're not going to be able to start making pancakes, and and I, who knows what all these 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 uh, jazz bandits out there are going to do when they find out that the, the there aren't any pancakes. Now I don't m mean to make some trouble here but I don't know any of y'all and I don't know why I would care that the head pancake <laughs> chef is missing I'm just a snake in a boot I don't even eat pancakes it's a mighty fine point Boots why should we care about where the head pancake man is what's in it for Boots yeah I stand up to my full horse height <laughs> <laughs> moves on hips oh, wow. seven feet <laughs> I think that's how big horses are. Uh, roll, roll an intimidating uh, uh, check. Is All of us, or uh, just me? Just you. Who? God damn it! You know? <laughs> uh, five. Wait, maybe I think I can help. I can help. <laughs> I want to add to the intimidation. Uh huh. 
Okay. So how do you, what, what, what skill are you using to help the Intimidation? <laughs> I'm using Intimidation. <laughs> okay. So you roll Intimidation. I, I see that Peaches is not um, not getting the job done, so I'm going to stand like it's, at the same it's, sort of Yeah, it's posture. because you're sort of wobbly on, on two legs when you try and stand up, and so it's more just concerning than intimidating. But, uh, I got a four. <laughs> Uh, so <laughs> what am I so, at? A five? I have two bonus things. Okay, so you can things. make it a mix. You can make it a mix success. Yeah, yeah. We haven't okay. even left the room. I can't <laughs> take this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I have a seven now. <laughs> Great. So uh, you you succeed in intimidating uh, this waiter, but. Um, by by standing up so tall, you you bump your head uh, against the ceiling of the room. Uh, <laughs> you're gonna take another point. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Fine. We shouldn't have brought Fine. this horse indoors. I I knew better than this. <laughs> It's a little, it's a little cramp. Once we're out of this IHOP, it's over for you, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my! Well, uh, you you could come out of your booth room here, uh, and and he uh, he he gestures to have you you come out uh, into the into the main uh, restaurant uh, area. All right, we we step out. Yes. Great. I slither uh, out. <laughs> I'm really slow though because I'm still kind of sticky. Do you want to ride on my back? I'm a horse. If you wouldn't mind. I tried to speed up you off with my hooves and it's okay. not nope. working. Nope. It's all good. Let me just climb up there. It's all it's good. It's okay. You're sticky. I'm stuck to your hoof now. There's no associated skill, so I'm just going to say you, you can do it. Yay! <laughs> didn't come up with a skill for that. Uh, so you you come out into the um, into the main restaurant, and it is trashed. It is it is absolute mayhem uh, out oh. here. Uh, syrup everywhere. Uh, just sort of passed out. Jasmine and animals uh with with various foodstuffs on their on their persons just sort of <laughs> lazing about and uh and the the waiter uh looks at you all and says now um I, I i i suppose if if you're if you're not that that interested in pancakes um uh, uh that 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 could uh I guess there isn't really much of a reason for you to want to help, but I mean, uh, I said I wasn't interested. I never, I never said I wasn't interested in pancakes. Now, well, we can't I get we can't get more pancakes until the chef comes back. You have money. Do I have money? No, the waiter Peaches or the love restaurant. Money. I love money. Well, yeah, there's there's money in the vault. Mm. The the great the great IHOP vault <laughs> underneath the IHOP. Hmm. Well, maybe it wouldn't do us too much harm to have a look around for your yeah for your boy. And if 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 we happen to go and see the vault, maybe we could to take ourselves a little reward. Yeah, maybe maybe the pancake man is in there. Oh, I, I never thought of that. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. Well, well, okay. Uh, and he hands you uh, a, a children's menu that has a little, um, it has a little like maze on the back. <laughs> but uh, the maze is in fact a map of the IHOP. Um, so everybody make a, a reading check to oh, see no. how well oh, that is you a can skill, read isn't it? the map. I got a nine. I got a seven. I also got a seven. Wow, we can all you, read. You all kind read of. the map, um, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> it is it is very sticky now uh, because you all sort of touched it with your sticky. Uh, is this maze fingers. life size? What What do you mean? Is this Is this representation right here? This map. Mm-hmm. Two size. 
Yeah, that's going to be a problem. That's far, real that's maze. far too small for, for most of us. I think maybe all of us is too small for. It's even yes, too I small can't fit on that. Paper. Oh, I, I understand the, the, the confusion. Uh, he draws like a little dot um, and says, that's about how big you are in relation to. No, that's not. Uh, I'm this big. Right, but if you I'm can imagine, if you can imagine, we're far for a bigger moment, than that. Uh, he draws like a slightly bigger dot. So that's the a horse size, and he draws like a little, just sort of. No, like, that's too small. That's too small. Still, you see the <laughs> well, horse. But if you, if you, if I'm you right could, in front of you. If you could use your uh, your imaginations for a moment and sort of uh, <laughs> consider what? how you would appear <laughs> if looked son, at from son, a great distance son, away son. Uh, from above perhaps critical son. thinking isn't one of our skills now i don't mean to put anyone down but peaches is a horse <laughs> yeah. it's true and this man over here oh no, i could i can this, see that hold up this <laughs> man sure. over here he's just a jazz man I Which do, is I a little heart. too complicated <laughs> for these two. To make a jazzing roll. <laughs> <laughs> it's just one two. It's one little two. <laughs> you know what jazzing. happens when you toot. I have to make a jazzing roll every time I toot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Is that is that I'm just trying to I'm I'm trying to add some I got a two. <laughs> well plus two uh, is you, four. You, you toot so loud <laughs> it's way louder than you expected oh and no in the distance you hear sort of it like at first you think it's like an echo of the toot but then you notice it's different notes being played in return and oh. more and more of these notes uh and he goes oh oh that's that's that must be one of them them jazz bandit band bandit clans <laughs> coming i'm gonna skeet addle and uh and he uh he he runs he he runs uh you really hecked it up now jazz man oh, is that bad i know the sound of that too that's the old the old uh trumpet rustler gang yep that's the trump i'm not gonna make you roll for that that's the trumpet rustler gang for sure uh i, I think it would not not to make a horse joke i think it would behoove us if we maybe uh, ski diddle our way into this maze before the before the trumpet rustlers show up, I've I've had a tangle with them in the past. I'd prefer not to not to <laughs> yeah. see them. Yeah, I clop my hoof twice in here's agreement. An, here's an idea. <laughs> That's what that means. We can lose the bandits <laughs> in the maze. Yes. Yeah, yeah, boots. That is what I just said. <laughs> um, but it's it's equally as good an That's idea. That's really smart. And you said it too. I, what if? I don't want to put you down. I think it is still a very good idea. What if we go down there? The 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 the, the jazz music is getting louder and, and more and more full bodied. They're really sort of riffing <laughs> with each other, and it's it's coming. You can tell they're they're going to be upon you soon. So what are we doing? We're gonna go into the into the maze to try and, and get deeper into the vault to escape the trumpet rustlers. <laughs> yeah, you see uh, from where the booths are, um, it's sort of a straight shot back to a pair of swinging saloon doors uh, that indicate the entrance to the uh, the maze. I'd like to to attempt a a jazzing check. Okay. Um, I wanna I wanna throw my toot. Ooh. I want to bounce it off of some of the, the glass and the IHOP to make it seem like it's coming from another direction. Hell yeah. yeah physics. Bounce that toot. I'm going to bounce X my games. toot. Bounce your toot. Okay, that is a nine, and I'll use my one failure point too to make it a 10. A perfect success. You bounce this toot. It is... I, I think you, I think you give it a, a, a it's a few toots and it's like yeah doo -doo 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 -doo. a little flourish. <laughs> um, gosh, I wish I knew more about jazz. Um, it's you know it's, it's about the notes you don't play. <laughs> we know and, that about jazz. And and the notes you don't play somehow carry the notes you do play to a different location. <laughs> That's how it and works. You, and you hear. <laughs> That that is uh, immediately noticed by the just just the the tone and tempo 
of uh of the the, the trumpet rustler <laughs> gang uh and and you and you can hear that they they make a change to the the um the, the melody that they were playing uh, uh that indicates that they are uh in fact going a different direction uh all right y'all while they're distracted let's let's get okay uh how are you guys uh getting there i'm on to, peaches are you, back. are you gonna run fast <laughs> I think we are gonna run fast. Yes, I'm not I'll gonna run do anything. fast. I mean, I don't know how else to do it. I can't can I, run. Wait, can I, I want to jump on Peaches back as well because Peaches is the best at running fast. Okay. So you, you... Ernie, I'm too damaged. Are you just gonna make me do the roll? You got the best <laughs> running fast stats. <laughs> but I've been rolling really fast. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Am I am I rolling for running fast? Are you on my back? Um, yeah. You, Am yeah, I a I'm, horse? <laughs> yeah, you're definitely a horse. I'm definitely on your back, and you should roll the run right. fast. Okay, I got an eight, and then plus two is a ten. Yeah. Wow. yeah. <laughs> you I run, run so fast. You run so fast. I run so fast. Um, there, are, there's, you know, uh, silverware and and sticky spots on the floor, and you don't, you just horse leap effortlessly <laughs> over them uh through the doors um and you find yourself in the kitchen oh. wow mm. um I see you near yeah. has anyone checked in here <laughs> yeah do we see the head do we see the head pancake chef in the kitchen um there isn't a perception skill no we don't have any of those <laughs> no, no we don't know how to look for things <laughs> <laughs> i really beefed it on the uh on the extra skills i think but that's okay uh so you you enter the kitchen and it is it's it's a a, a massive kitchen it, it it's um it's huge so many just just a giant um how many hotel rooms how many hotel room size <laughs> is the kitchen this is like uh, like four suites. Whoa! Put Can't together. Even see the back. That's like half of Bucky's. Wow! <laughs> I fit in this room. <laughs> um, and it is. Uh, it, it's. It seems pretty. Um, it seems like like the the festivities from the outside have made their way in to uh this kitchen yeah it's and a pancake jubilee so yeah it's it's a pancake jubilee uh <laughs> so it's be contained <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of a mess in here uh to be honest and uh you do see that um that there are uh not the head chef but some uh some 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 line cooks some sous chefs are uh they they've all they've been they've been tied up and knocked out and they're all tied to um uh just there there's a big pillar in the middle of the room oh it's like cheesecake factory yeah the big <laughs> the big pillar is uh designed to look like a giant uh stack of pancakes but oh, it is nice. uh it's it's just a, a stone pillar <laughs> and these these chefs are all are all knocked out but you do notice that uh, one of the hats of one of the chefs is uh, is is moving, oh. and uh, and uh, and as as you come uh, flying through the door, you make you make a bit of noise, and you see uh, a little a little nose pop out from from under the the <laughs> the chef's hat. I and eat the hat. Is it ratatouille? You eat the hat. Yeah, I'm a horse. Okay, uh, make a <laughs> make a biting check. I didn't say bite. I said eat. Well, how you eat it without how biting? You eat, wait, describe how you eat it without biting. Um, I just <laughs> open my mouth uh -huh. <laughs> and I, like scooch my face across the floor until it settles inside, and then okay. I just <laughs> tighten my throat around <laughs> the furthest back part of the hat. <laughs> <laughs> and suck it down like a noodle. 
Uh, I'm gonna say that's gonna be a kissing check. <laughs> 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 I got a seven. <laughs> okay, so you get the the hat into your horse throat, uh -huh. but it's a pretty big hat, and it's uh, it can... <laughs> it gets sort of sort of lodged in there. <laughs> All right, now so let's. Okay, it seems like Peach has gotten himself into so you're, uh, a lick so of trouble, you're, you're, so I'm gonna go in and help him. Choking on this um this hat. Yeah, what else is new? So um, boots, you're helping. I'm gonna help dislodge the hat from this throat. Uh, you do hear you do hear this this rat start going. Oh my god! Oh oh no! Oh, what's happening? <laughs> um. <laughs> So uh, you're you're gonna try and dislodge the the hat. Uh, how how are you uh, doing this? Um, I think I'm gonna. Are you gonna I think I'm gonna try it? to bite onto it and bite fling onto it out. It. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So make make a biting uh, roll for me. This is dangerous. <laughs> uh oh, got <gosh>, six. <laughs> You don't have you with your bonus. I got seven. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, got us over the so, hump. So you you get you 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 succeed in uh in biting the the hat and getting it out, but um you do uh you do uh in in the sort of the the heat of the moment you do cut yourself on um on peach's <laughs> chipped tooth so you're gonna take one point of, oh, uh, of damage uh but peaches is no longer choking uh on the hat uh and uh the you you now see this this little this little rat in the <laughs> in the hat uh is is looking very distraught and saying, "Oh no! Are you are you another one of them? Another one of them? Uh, uh, um... <laughs> trumpet uh, rustlers? Trumpet rustlers? No, oh, I'm it's a, a horse. It's a, it's a different gang a different than the gang. trumpet rust. It's this is the uh, trombone ers." <laughs> tromboners the, the evil tromboners <laughs> the evil tromboners they only make music no. with the trombones oh how i hate them you everyone knows you can't make music with just a trombone <laughs> and yet they persist <laughs> now now slow down here here little fella it seems like you're all worked up yeah, my, I was so worked up. My voice sounded exactly the same as the waiter. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that'll happen. That'll happen. Yeah. Let me, yeah. Let, me, let me just let me just calm down. Let me just calm down. Okay. I do want to say I get out of Peach's mouth and I'm back on Peach's yeah. back. Thanks, buddy. Sorry. I uh, kick my little uh, <laughs> boot in a way that looks like I'm kind of tipping a hat. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, now, little buddy, I think maybe uh, in order to calm you down, you should have a have a talk with uh, my friend Boots here. Boots is the best talker I know. Could talk mm -hmm. could talk a rabbit out of a out of a rabbit hole. Oh, <laughs> out of a hood. I've never known yeah, rabbits to want to want to get Boots out of their good. holes or hutches. If there's uh, one thing I know, it's rabbits. Okay. H hello. Hello. Howdy. What happened here? What happened to you? Why are you tied up? What's going on? Why are you in a hat? Why? Are, what's well, going I, on? I'm, I'm in. I'm in the hat because I, uh, I. I help the the chefs make the pancakes. Uh, a lot of uh, a lot of the chefs uh, rely on various talking animals to to make the pancakes. And, I'll be uh, real with you. I've I've heard of cat in the hat, but rat in the hat is ridiculous. What's cat in the hat? It's a it's a cat what wear a hat yeah very common around these parts yeah cats and hats but rats and hats you're right i've never never in all my years never seen one yeah not saying well, not saying well, I, there I can't it... be one i'm just saying i haven't seen one for myself so it is interesting to me 
Wow, this is a riveting conversation. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, what roll, happened to you? What? Roll, roll, uh, roll conversation for me, just to just to see how it's going. I got a eight. Great, it's going pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> it's working now, out. What ha what happened to you? And what happened here? We're well, looking. Guess... First of all, we're looking for the head chef, head head pancake, the pancake guy. We're looking for the pancake guy. Have you seen him? Yeah, the the tromboners came and they and they took him. They oh. took him down. They took him down to the to the vault. They're trying to they're trying to use him mm. to steal the the secret pancake recipe. The vault. How convenient. Yeah. Now, how uh, many were there of these tromboners? Did you see, if any, six? <laughs> a lot of tromboners. Can you imagine the that sound? That is of a line of six trombones. Six trombones at the same time. Who we? God bless. <laughs> they bless said, their heart. They said it's it's time for for the other jazz bandits to start taking the tromboners seriously, and they're gonna they're gonna prove <laughs> it by. <laughs> <laughs> they could prove the... it by playing music that doesn't sound like a seven that, farts that, at the same time. That's what the that's what the chef who I was uh, uh, inside the hat of said, and they and they knocked him out with a with a big blast, a big jazzy blast. <laughs> they always go for force instead of subtlety. I hate those tromboners so much. Mm -mm. Mm. Yeah, at least it's about know the where they are. Don't play. They can't help but trombone yeah i suppose that's true well all right well y'all looks like we got a chance to to bust some bones as i say and also raid the vault at the same time it's a win, -win. yeah i love stealing money peaches loves money i love money <laughs> stealing money <laughs> what i mean we're gonna be rewarded the money that's I suppose, the... yeah. If you if you save the head pancake chef, I'm sure any number of boons will be sent your way. So a small waiter seemed to indicate, <laughs> and I I trusted that guy the moment I saw him. Yeah, <laughs> me and him get confused a lot because we're both small and have similar <laughs> voices. <laughs> <laughs> Well, do you do you want to show us the way to the the vault? I know it's a it's a bit of a you want know to get back there. Well, yeah, uh, it's uh, it, it's 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 right it's right back here, and he and he show he scurries uh, along the 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 kitchen floor, and uh, and uh, you you come across uh, this the, the the kitchen sort of gives way to uh you know it's it's the the, the four uh hotel suite size kitchen sort of gives way to more um sort of naturalistic um uh, walls instead mm -hmm. of walls they're it's just sort of like rock formation mm -hmm. um as i hope this built in a cliff yeah, the, the IHOP is built into a side of a, a cliff. <laughs> it was so a naturally now, occurring IHOP. Yeah, yeah. ancient structure. God put <laughs> this <laughs> IHOP here. Um, and uh, he he brings you to uh to this this great uh sort of uh, ornate stone uh uh door that's carved into the into the stone and uh he says the the only way to to open the door if you're not uh if if you're if you're not the the head pancake chef is to is to is to play a tune that it <laughs> that it likes well 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 <laughs> looks like my time has finally come my my toots will be objectively appreciated by a big stone door, just like I dreamed. I pull my saxophone off my back and I start playing just like the jazziest little number you've ever heard in your oh, life. Yeah. I've, I've been saving this one for a special occasion in my, in my back pocket. There's so many good notes that I do play and even better notes that I don't play. Uh, roll, roll jazzin'. 
I got a five. <laughs> <laughs> with with the bonus? With the bonus. Oh. I rolled a three and had a plus two. <laughs> Can I give him some encouraging words? The song's ahead of its time. You just don't get it. Oh yeah, roll roll conversation to see if you <laughs> conversational skills improve the the jazz. I got an eight. Okay, so that adds a plus uh, one, right? Is that how that works? That adds a plus <laughs> one, yeah, which gets me to a six. Um, I need so to get see, to a seven. You see the um, <laughs> this sort of um, th this this ornate door sort of has a, a a face carved into it, and you see the the uh, the eyes of the face begin to glow, and uh, and the uh, the rat goes, uh oh, I'm getting out of here, and you hear this this rumbling sound, and uh, the the cavern you're in. Uh, starts to fill with syrup. Oh no, is oh, it not good God. enough? Peaches, I need your help. I need I need one point's worth of help. What can you do uh, best? Run fast. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to do it. I don't know either. Should I do a jazzing roll? <laughs> Peaches, I know you, you usually <laughs> stay away from the musical side of things, but I need you to do your best jazzing for me right now. Okay. Uh, I got a nine. Ooh, yeah. So that brings you up to a seven. That brings me up to a seven. In okay. mixed success range. So the room is I filling up. Scatting. With syrup. <laughs> <laughs> it was like the missing piece to the jazz puzzle I was playing. Your scatting fills out all the silences perfectly. <laughs> Uh, the room is still filling up with syrup, but the uh, the the eyes, the glowing eyes of the of the stone door, uh, begin to uh, begin to change color into a a more soothing uh, eye hop blue. <laughs> <laughs> That's the official and, color name. Yeah, the most soothing blue. And so the uh, the door begins to open. But uh, it's opening slow. It's sort of slowly opening at the same rate that the room is filling with syrup. And so I am going to need you all to make a uh, a swimming uh, no. roll. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I got a five. Uh, I got a seven. Okay. I got a ten. Okay. Damn, good swimming. Marvin, no. Turns out I'm a water snake. <laughs> a syrup snake. I'm a water moccasin. That's funny because you have a shoe too. Yeah. Oh. Multiple layers there. Oh. It's like ship's challenge and I take my cowboy boot off and I put my water moccasin on. Yeah, and then you can swim. And then I can swim. So Boots Boots is swimming uh is is having no trouble swimming through this this uh I'm just yelling syrup. back just wiggle just wiggle um <laughs> just wiggle your heart out you'll Peaches get there is doing okay but um some of the syrup does get into uh Peaches's mouth and it it, it does irritate the uh the chip tooth <laughs> so Pe Peaches does take uh another point of damage fine and okay. then um Marvin is drowning. Uh, he's gonna take he's gonna take two points of damage. I'm trying to and... hold my sacks above the syrup so it doesn't get syrup in no. it, but I can't swim like that. Uh oh, you're trying to hold your Don't sacks say up. That. Oh no, no, come on. Make a uh, make a holding items roll. Damn it. To see how well your sacks doesn't get syruped. I got a eight. Okay. The sax only gets a little syrup. Okay, that's fine. But, but I do you take are, two you, damage. But you, but you are drowning. <laughs> <laughs> Is drowning a problem that we are being expected to solve, or will he just get himself out of this situation? Uh, I mean. Up, uh, your your friend is drowning in syrup. This door is slowly opening. Uh, you you your swim uh, successes 
mean that like you are able to navigate through uh the syrup into the door okay um and here's, like go here's a question. back you yeah can try and and help i don't uh, have to roll for swimming again no you're you're swimming We've you took you took the damage here. yeah you established you could swim you took right, a, little, okay. a little damage to your tooth uh your chip tooth is <laughs> what else sensitive. is new then i'll go back i'll go back for marvin okay um how do you uh get him i i swim over and i say stop drowning and get on my back buddy <laughs> Make a make a conversation roll. You gotta convince me. I'm not convinced. I think I might keep drowning. It's a four. No, I don't think I don't think I want to do it. I swim back, and I'm like, <laughs> listen. Do I get a bonus for that? Yeah, every time you fail, okay. you, yeah, um, I'm not I'm not Carry keeping on. track, but yeah. Um, I'll try to convince Marvin to get on Peaches's back. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to do a conversation roll. No, I, I can do it. I can, blah. I got an 11. I, I can do it. Great. Okay. <laughs> oh, I can't do it. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, There's no shame. Your pride. <laughs> There's no shame in asking for help, Marvin. Boots, that's, that, frankly, that's beautiful. I'm going to climb up on Peaches straight away. <laughs> Thank you, Peaches. Let's, Anytime, let's buddy. Sorry I was so hard-headed about it. I, I know how you are. We go way back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Best friends forever. <laughs> we were born at the same time. Let's get Aww. out of here, bestie. <laughs> <laughs> um so you uh you make it through the stone door. Um you're all very sticky, but uh but you make it and because of your successful uh reading of the uh of the the labyrinth uh, on the back of the kids' menu, uh, you are able to navigate this this um, this maze uh, pretty pretty easily. Um, it, it's pretty one to one. Even though even though you you still are confused by the size disparity between the dots that were drawn, <laughs> yeah, that's confusing. And, uh, and your and yourselves, you're able to. I think just. Perhaps the um, the syrup that you that you swallowed during that uh, that last portion uh, gives you uh, like a bit of a sugar rush, and that like helps your brain <laughs> uh, be able to make these sort of abstract uh, spatial reasoning necessary to uh, make sense of how a map works. Incredible. Um, and you find your way. Uh, to uh, to the the end of this labyrinth, which which opens up into a uh, a, a stairwell leading down into the dark, and uh, <sighs> down in the stairwell, you do hear uh, the distinctive sounds <laughs> of uh, jazz being played with just trombones. <laughs> oh, Ugh. Disgusting. If you'd like to try and figure out how many trombones you're hearing, uh, I'm going to need you all to make appreciating music rolls. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. Seven. Seven. Uh, I got a nine. Wow. I'm a jazz man. <laughs> what can I say? So, uh... You all are able to appreciate the music uh, enough to know that there are uh, three of the aforementioned six tromboners guarding uh, whatever, uh, standing guard down there. Um, however, uh, it is a mixed success. You appreciate the music a little bit too much, and you start you start tapping your your toes to it. Oh, dang it! Uh, which Classic does alert them problem. to your presence, and you hear, "Hey, who's up there?" Darn my noisy hooves. Mm. Well, how about we do this? I I just pretend like it's just me up here. You two hide. Uh huh. And I'll distract them. Uh huh. Um, yeah. So I'll call down. Yeah. 
distract them, bring them maybe to a part of the maze that leads them nowhere so y'all can scoot on by. I mean, that sounds like a fine plan, Boots, but I, I worry for your safety. I'll just slither into a boot. It's fine. You, no, I think that we've had this issue previously where you <laughs> think being in a boot means you're you're safe from all harm, and that's not the case. I beg to differ. <laughs> all right. Your boot's pretty good. Let's do it then. You sure are a stubborn snake. Okay, so is this going to be a, a conversation role or a <clears> lying <throat> role? Guess, or a I guess, flirting role. Or a flirting role, yeah. How uh, how are you? What what do you say to these? <laughs> I guess I guess depending on what you say, that's what I'll have you roll. Uh, I think I'll go down there and say like it's me, so I'm not technically lying. I'm like okay. skirting. I'm skirting the line here. I got it's just old boots over. I mean, it's 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 boots. It's boots over here. I'm just. What uh, are you? What are you doing here? Uh, this is, this area is off limits. I understand that, sir. I do apologize, but as you can see, I am a snake, and I do not know how to read uh, unless there are pictures. Uh, so I was just looking for a, a nice, warm place to sleep, and you know that kitchen back there has got all them heaters and stuff, but everyone in there was so noisy, I uh, wanted to come down here and see what y'all got. Well... Uh, I guess, yeah, roll, roll conversation. I have a 12. Oh, wow. Perfect I have a perfect conversation. Wow. You know, I, I, you know, I've, I've talked to a lot of snakes in, in my day and I've never met one that had quite such a, a mastery of the conversational arts. Um, to be fair, I mean, we have you just... ever met a snake in a boot? You like this boot? They just heard mumbling. I hold it up. I never, never met a snake. That's a, that's such a great boot. I'd love to talk more about this boot with yeah, you. Yeah, why don't we go somewhere that has? I, I didn't even know they made boots that small. Do you get Anna, a special? Listen, I'll tell you all to... about it. Why don't we go over there, which seems to have some just some just some beautiful Latin. You know what oh, I mean? Oh, you know it. It does. It does have some beautiful. Why don't we go uh, over there? We can look at my boot. Um... <laughs> Yeah, you notice that uh, this this area of uh, of the cavern has these beautiful um, uh, sort of amber colored uh, crystals uh, all, uh, adorning everywhere, and they 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 emit this this beautiful golden light. Um, and so they 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 come with you over and say, you you know we we were we were about done practicing uh the trombone jazz anyway so mm. uh yeah we let's let's talk about this boot i'm fascinated by oh, this boot you. yeah it is just i mean it was first of all look at the quality of this leather am i right and i'm trying to speak kind of loudly so that the, the, the other two know where i am that i'm over <laughs> in like a corner so they can sneak on by <clears throat> all right yeah, we don't we do not have a sneaking skill we ignored that suggestion completely, yes. <laughs> we have tax um, evasion. You do have tax Which evasion. Which is kind of like sneaking. Uh, we got yeah, running I guess, fast. I guess that the tax would be that they would would see you. <laughs> the tax on our lives. <laughs> yeah, we, we take a very liberal definition of the word tax. <laughs> yeah. I'll I'll let you do tax evasion rolls for this God unless there's a unless there's a different one you'd you'd rather do. It's all the same to me. I don't think I can jazz my way by. <laughs> all right, I got eleven. Great. I got a nine. Um, we're so good at this. We're evading the tax good. evasion. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah, you you sneak on, but nine is a mixed success. Yeah. But I'm going to say because of the uh I'm I'm going I'm going to apply the um the conversation the the full success on the conversation to that role to, yeah. to say it, it bumps it up to a full success uh because I'm the GM and I can decide that. <laughs> you are uh, onto a god. 
I'm on, I'm on to that God. Uh, yeah. and so, <laughs> so you, you managed to, uh, to easily, uh, you know, just as you would avoid, uh, the IRS, you avoid, uh, being detected by these, uh, these three trombone bandits who are just so fascinated by boots now the heel on my boot boot. has you'll see if you look closely just a real nice strip of metal right here because i find that i wear out the heels of my boots so fast that's smart i was thinking about getting something because i was just telling lester here that that the, mm-hmm. the the heel on my boot mm-hmm. wears right. off easily. Metal metal makes such a, a good metal that strip. does make sense. Put in that a does little make sense. Mm-hmm. All mm-hmm. it requires a little metal strip, two nails, two nails. Wow. It does make you a little bit louder <laughs> and it makes you a little uh, clickety clackety. But um, I, I well, that's, really that's do just think better it for is keeping worth time. It. Better for keeping time with the old jazz. There you go. There you go. <laughs> See, uh, benefits all around. <laughs> Now you can do the uh, same thing with the toe of your boot, put in a little strip of metal, protect your enough, toes. Enough. <laughs> so we've sneaked by. We've taxivated yes. you, you, into the vault. You've taxivated the vault. So you are you are now in the vault. And uh, the vibe in here is a little, it's a little <laughs> jazzy. Ooh. It's um, there, it's, it's, it's kind of smoky in here. It's um, the smoke smells of uh, of bacon, <laughs> um, and uh, it, there's just sort of this low. It's again, it's that um, that IHOP blue, but like a dim blue, and then accented by these sort of amber syrup crystals. <laughs> um, and uh, and you hear um, you hear just one trombone, and it's it's it, it sounds well. Make make a appreciating music checks for me. I'm not here, right? No, you're still having, and unless you choose to leave the the conversation. Um, no, I'm an enjoying eight. my boot. I got an yeah. eight as well. <laughs> Julia's just out. <laughs> I'll, I'll slither my way back in. Don't worry. So um, yeah, you hear this one, uh, this one trombone, uh, just sort of. And it, and it sounds it sounds really nice. It's like nicer than than a bunch of trombones. It's just this one, just sort of, <laughs> you know. Yeah. yeah. You know, like you know, like how trombones do. Yeah. Uh, it's like he's doing the thing where he's got like the what's him call it on the end that like makes it make oh, a, a special like the sound. The, the mute. The, the, the mug. The harmony. Yeah. Mute. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and you can you can tell that uh, uh, that that this this is um this is perhaps the leader of the of the tromboners, Tom Bone. Tom. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Wow, the uh-huh. Tom Bone is here. I'm whispering to Peaches. I don't know who that is. In, but his name kind of circles. sounds like trombone. It, I know, isn't that a crazy coincidence? <laughs> I know. <laughs> He's spoken oh, of in legends alongside the so... greats like Gordon Ramsay. Oh. They used to play all in a band together, the greatest jazz band the world's ever known, but then they split up and no one knows what happened to them. That's so spooky. It's pretty spooky. Yeah. Um... I guess I need to decide what happens in this room. Um, <laughs> so uh, you're in this room, this vault, and you see um, you see uh, Tom Bone is is standing there, just really going to town on this trombone. And you see the other two uh, tromboners have their sort of trombones crossed like swords uh, guarding the head pancake chef. Oh, Whoa. there he is. Wow. All right. He does look kind of weird. <laughs> Peaches, we got to formulate a plan. Hmm. Maybe if I, if I can challenge Tom Bone to a, to a jazz off, he can't say Jazz no. Duel. It's the rules. Yeah. Then maybe you can can really quickly run 
run around while he's distracted, snag the pancake chef. Yeah. Haul ass out of here before the tromboners know what's what's good for him. What about the guards? They'll be mesmerized by the power of jazz. Don't you worry. <laughs> All right. I trust you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I, right. I wag my tail. <laughs> horses do that. <laughs> so I, I want to step out of the shadows. Okay. And say, Tom Bone, you old uh, dirty dog. And uh, you see he, he finishes the, uh, the stanza that he's on and slowly lowers his trombone and says, Ah, Marvin Martin. Fancy seeing you down here. I... Didn't expect you'd even awaken this day after the pancake. Uh, what what was it? What did it's, we decide? It's a jubilee. A pancake jubilee. jubilee. The pancake jubilee <laughs> happens yes, every year, once a year at the IHOP. <laughs> yes, it uh, seemed like the perfect opportunity for the tromboners to finally make their move and become the premier jazz banded band well i mean that would never happen on account of you sound like dookie when you all play together it sounds like a bunch of dookie farts sounding We're, off at the same time not well, to be rude perhaps it does now but could you imagine how smooth and sweet our trombone music would sound if we were all able to drink of the primordial syrup the primordial syrup it's yes. here? Yes, in this very vault. And this one here is being a real, a real party pooper by not sharing it. And uh, you see the head pancake chef go, uh, uh, <clears throat> you bloody donkeys, get me <laughs> out of here. How dare you? I'll show you what's for, I'll, I'll, Batter you so flat you won't know who your own mother is. <laughs> the famous accent of the Wild West. <laughs> it's right at home. <laughs> it fits in perfectly. <laughs> There's always like a couple Brits in the Wild West. Yeah. They end up there. I'm just thinking of Blazing Saddles and that one character. <laughs> I'm also thinking about that weird movie that Jacob and I watched that had Tom Selleck as the main character and then what's his face as the villain? Alan Rickman. Alan Rickman, yeah, in Australia. <laughs> yeah, they were in Australia. Why not? Why not? <laughs> Anyways, Tom Bone. <laughs> yes. I challenge you to a jazz duel. <laughs> the winner gains custody of the head pancake chef and access to the primordial syrup, and the losers gots to ski diddle. Well, I had been hoping to avoid this. It's why I chose the day after the pancake jubilee to do this, because everyone would be in their pancake-induced stupors, but rules are rules. I must accept very well. Then let's jazz. Then let's jazz. <laughs> Make a jazzing roll. We start jazzing. We start jazzing. We start big jazzing. Time. I don't know why I look like this. I. I you have become so as God. <laughs> you knew what you were doing when you this, got on God or whatever. <laughs> this make yeah, this it's God. because I'm on to God. <laughs> You're on to him. You figured it out. All right. So I, pale. <laughs> I rolled an eight, but I've got two failure points, so I'm gonna spend them both to bump okay. it up to a ten. That's a that's a full that's a full success. How oh shit. Describe your jazzing. So imagine like we start jazzing, right? We're facing each other and we start jazzing. And in a jazz duel, both both combatants like slowly circle each other, uh, exchanging jazz riffs uh, back and forth and like building and improvising on the riff that came before. Um, and the other trombone guards are, are stomping their feet to an ever increasing tempo. 
Yes. As the jazz becomes more complex and involved, kind of like a dueling banjos situation. Uh, so it's just getting faster and faster and more and more complicated. Uh, and it's, you know, whoever slips up first, whoever drops a, drops a beat, loses the jazz duel. So this is this is reaching a, a, a fever pitch. There's so many, so many uh, scales and uh, and and uh, you know notes being played, notes not being played. <laughs> um, I'd like to just real quickly, like in terms, is sort of like uh, uh, in a cinematic fashion, just sort of cut outside the room. Where are we at in Boots' conversation? <laughs> Because so, you, you can you can hear this this like it's it's a little quieter outside the like in the room we have like the jazz music but also like the epic music of this this jazz confrontation playing and then we just sort of cut outside and it's you can sort of hear it in the distance but we're we're really uh, coming up on on some something in the boots conversation. Here's the thing about a good pair of of boots, right? If you have one that's kind of cheaper. You know, maybe you're more willing to throw them away, but if you have a real good pair of boots, then you really want to make sure you hydrate those things because that is that you you just want to see them shine, you want to see them breathe. I just uh, there is nothing that's nicer. Always, that's what I'm always saying. That's what I'm always saying, people, Lester. You gotta thank you. Some thank people, you for saying it. But you know what? I've I don't say my look how cracked my boots are. I know, and then you know what. Then you gotta throw them away, and then you gotta spend a whole bunch of money on a new pair. Here's the thing, you know, I don't blame no one for not wanting to take care of their boots, right? Be because they lack that dusty look. They lack that, you know. I I work hard. Look at how much I've been out. <laughs> but it, that just shows that you don't care. You. That exactly. you don't even care about the work care and the boots take you got. Care of yourself. Thank you. Gotta you. take and care again, of yourself. I mean, we're at, just because we're bandits doesn't mean we don't, you know, care about appearances. Gotta I, look good. I've got to say, this is the best conversation I have ever had in my life. <laughs> oh well, thank you. I'm enjoying it. Yeah, me, me too. Very much me too. I, uh, I agree. I agree. Okay. Well, yep. I just, you know, I just. Uh, some people just don't understand or appreciate what goes into a good boot. And I'm You've, so glad that I can find some like-minded folks. You have changed my outlook. Over here on the trombones. Here's here's what I propose to y'all. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't I don't want to tell you how to live your life. It's just a suggestion. What if you pivot the direction of the trombones? To be a little more self-care, to be a little less destructive, to be a little less serving one guy who just wants some syrup. What if? Well, well, well Tom, Tom was Tom's our leader. We we do whatever he says. He said we was gonna get real smooth and sweet once we once we got what was in the vault. Yeah, and who's in the vault right now? Who has not emerged? <laughs> Uh -oh. Do you think maybe he could be drinking that syrup himself? Well, you gotta look like, out for you. I'm saying sounds like the, oh, there's a balance yeah. here. You gotta, you know, look after your friends, look after your loved ones. Yes, but the person you got your whole life is you. You gotta look out for you. Does banditing and breaking into mazes to get syrup <laughs> make you happy? Is that what you want to do? Because it sounds like I mean, you've I really been did, loving I'm, I'm, the boots. Nothing's made me happier than talking to you, so I think there that you means go. you're our leader now. Well, I, oh, okay. I, now, I don't, I don't want to be nobody's leader. Leader. But... Leader. <laughs> oh, all right. I'm leader. okay. All start <laughs> leader. Chanting, chanting leader. All um, right. Well, if I can lead you into a... Uh, and to a boot loving life, I would I I humbly accept the responsibility. So uh, back in the room, you now hear sort of very quietly <laughs> from outside, like it it, it matches the beat uh, and rhythm of of this jazz, but you do hear just quietly leader leader leader. <laughs> um, and uh, hearing that does distract Tom. And so he misses he misses a note he wasn't supposed to miss. 
And we, we can tell. We know it wasn't intentional. Yeah. Even I knew. <laughs> you don't even need to roll appreciating music to know. <laughs> and he goes, ah, oh, what was my voice? Oh, uh, posh, forgotten. posh, posh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Snobby. Very high and mighty. Mm. Yes. Mm. Re yes. Marvin. <laughs> Marvin, you've bested me. Oh, no. Yeah, I reckon I have, Tom. <laughs> well. You know what I always said? Trombones. Go homes. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> the, other, uh, the other two guys, they just... Their their trombones um, shatter. <laughs> they go. Ah! <laughs> ah! Uh, and they they drop their they they drop their now shattered trombones and and make a run for it. And Tom is just he falls to his knees and goes. I just wanted to make sweet smooth. Syrupy jazz. Tom, Damn you, what you got to understand, Martin. What you got to <laughs> understand is the sweet, smooth jazz comes. That comes from inside you, buddy. No amount of syrup's gonna give you the jazz that you have to play. That jazz can only come from you. Then I touch his shoulder. <laughs> um, make a flirting roll. I'm bad at that. I wasn't trying to flirt. I know, but just just make one just for fun. I got a nine. Oh, shit. No, I got I got an eight. Uh, he blushes a little. <laughs> <laughs> and I nod. I nod knowingly. Uh, and you hear, uh, well, this has been fine and dandy, but uh, I'm still I'm still trapped down here, aren't I? So. Uh, so so what what's 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 all this then? Oh yeah, was I supposed to run and help him? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> oh yeah, make a are, too enraptured you... by the jazz. I don't think we're in a big rush anymore. I'll walk over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At a leisurely pace. <laughs> Peaches, here's your big chance. I need you to get the ropes off of, <laughs> off the pancake okay. chef. <laughs> okay. <laughs> should I hold should I go with my hooves or should I go with my mouth? <laughs> Teeth. Follow your heart, Peaches. It just just heart, like peaches. jazz, it comes from inside of you. Okay, well, my chipped tooth is still kind of bothering me, so I'm gonna go for holding items to see if I can get a get a grip on these ropes with my hooves. Great. I've rolled a five. <laughs> Do you have any bonuses to spend? I have one, which won't <laughs> help. Can I can I come in and help at this moment? Uh, sure. Are you in the room? I, Not I'm, in the. I've entered. I think. Yeah, I think I want to enter. Gotta... I want to enter with the now trom boots. And trom boots. Say, trom boots. Now. Really, what you got to do in order to start a new boot love and laugh is to undo the mistakes you made and acknowledge that you have made mistakes and grow as a human. So I say uh, you should grab that head pancake chef and release him and apologize, acknowledging that, you know, even though you were led astray, even though you maybe didn't have all that information, you still did a wrong, and you can still apologize. Booth is making this speech as they enter the room, and they just see Peaches like beating the shit. Out of the head. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Peaches is just sort of hoof yeah, just like yeah. smacking him around. I swear, I almost got this. <laughs> You were so close, Peaches. You did great. See, I Peaches, can do it this time. Take a lesson from Peaches. Constantly trying. So That's wait, all you, trying, you can do. Are you trying? Are you trying to use conversation to to get them to help? Yeah. Peaches? Okay. Yeah. Uh, so make your conversation roll. Okay. <laughs> this is just going to be whether or not you 
Because, like, you already have them on your side. This is just whether you can say what you wanted to say fast enough before Peaches uh, tramples this. <laughs> I got an man. 11. <laughs> okay. Okay. They, they, they rush, they see the situation that's happening and they rush over and um, uh, uh, actually untie uh, the head pancake chef. Before I, I loosened the ropes. Yeah. You I loosened. The, I got, I got us halfway there. <laughs> See, doesn't that feel no. nice having undone your mistakes? Because now you're not going to have nothing distracting you from that pure, sweet leather of a good boot. That's what I'm saying to my Tron boots. That's right. That's right. We don't we don't care about jazz anymore. We care about boots and looking good. We're going to be the first bandit group that doesn't even play music. No. We, we, we play the music of fashion. Ooh. Wow. So you're starting something new. You're you're forming your own path, and that's something to be proud of. Oh, e excuse me. Oh, I <laughs> think I need to go to hospital. I do. Well, we'll get you right there just as soon as we receive payment for services rendered. Oh yes, of course. Um, uh, he stumbles over to the um to this this sort of um altar looking thing and um he he rubs his hands together and uh and and pushes <laughs> uh pushes on it uh-huh and syrup what beautiful syrup <laughs> starts I coming money. up and that was money in the vault the most precious possession we have is the primordial syrup. Master Wayne. Master Wayne. <laughs> Why do we eat pancakes? What's primordial syrup? What's primordial syrup? <laughs> Hi, I'm a horse. Can you explain primordial syrup to me? I'm already drinking it. I'm I'm licking it off the walls. I'm filling my little boot with it. And my little rattle is um, going off going, yeah. And uh as the primordial syrup uh touches your your lips, you feel uh you feel infused with incredible power. And uh and you know that your your jazz will now be sweeter and smoother than it's ever been before. Uh, Boots, as you pour this primordial syrup into your boot, your boot begins to uh, <laughs> gleam and glisten. Little um, uh, threads, uh, 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 runes, glowing runes begin to appear, patterning this boot, making it look resplendent and beautiful. This is what and I a said about hydrating, hydrating your boots. This is what your boots could look like if you uh, hydrate them properly. Peaches, do you partake of the primordial syrup? Well, I guess everyone else did. Watch your tooth, though. Yeah. I get a little on my hoof and like lick it off, like <laughs> as you <laughs> like horses do. Like horses do. <laughs> as you lick the primordial syrup, you feel it uh, coat the inside of your mouth, <laughs> and your teeth are replaced with beautiful golden teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a buff? Is that? <laughs> And no, I just look like I lost all my teeth. It looks like you have beautiful. It looks like you're a rich, beautiful, golden toothed horse, and <laughs> and 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 you notice that that even more than the teeth, just gold coins begin spilling out of your mouth. Yay. <laughs> That's the money we wanted. Yeah, <laughs> it was inside you all along, Peaches. Like I said. <laughs> The syrup grants you whatever you desire most. <laughs> and you have you have saved the IHOP. You have saved the International House of Pancakes. And 
and our greatest treasure. <laughs> Thank you, you three weirdos. Uh... <laughs> I just start soloing. Um, that is that is where we'll end <laughs> our story. Hell yeah, um, Nathan! It was great. You did a great job. Yeah. Can I do one Good last job, roll? Nathan. Oh, of course, for, yeah. For any, tax any, evasion yeah. to see yeah. if Peaches goes to jail. Oh, sure. <laughs> yeah, we have to know. <laughs> I rolled a four. <laughs> <laughs> Epilogue. Well, Peaches does go to jail. <laughs> as soon as Peaches jail. leaves tax the, evasion. <laughs> the IHOP, uh, the, the sheriffs are waiting outside um, to take Peaches to jail. <laughs> And some say he's still spewing coins to this day. <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> wow. Yeah, let's get a little epilogue for each of the Yeah, the that's my epilogue. So Peaches goes to jail. Goes to jail. <laughs> I think Boots is, is traveling the land and uh, with my, my group of Tron Boots. And what we do is that we steal people's boots in the night and during the night we improve them and we care for them and we we hydrate them and we put the little metal heel clips on and then we return the boots and we leave there a, are no a... sheriffs there are no sheriffs inside the ihop peach peaches chose to leave the ihop <laughs> yeah, yeah the and the outside. sheriffs were waiting and i stepped out of my sanctuary and was immediately sent to horse jail <laughs> yeah so julia you're like elves Yes. yes, like we yeah. became elves. Yeah, because uh, my group takes pride in in repairing all the boots, just for the love of boots. For the love and of boots. Throughout the Wild West, people's boots just start to look nicer. We leave a little. We leave a little snake logo on the bottom of the boot. Snow go. Snow go. Snow go. We we cut to a shot of all of these like nice boots like <clears throat> walking through the desert, all showing up to one big concert that all of the jazz bandits unite to watch. And Marvin Martin steps on stage with Tom Bone and Gordon Ramsay, jazz legends reunited <laughs> to play the greatest jazz show ever heard in the Wild West. I did go home, <laughs> but now... I'm back, and my voice is different again. <laughs> <laughs> he's you, less Tom evil. Bone. Yeah, he's less evil now. I'm yeah. less evil, so I, I don't have as much of an affectation anymore. That was just something I, I was doing. To sound cooler. <laughs> um, Amazing. Chat Chat wants a, a kiss. I, I technically, uh, Peaches did kiss the hat that had I the rat in it. I did kiss the yeah. hat with yes. the rat. Peaches kissed there the was hat. No, there was no fighting or cooking or dancing, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> I feel like it's difficult to get them all in. Yeah. I really, we did our best. Yeah. I, I, I think a more practiced game master will, will do a better job uh, coming up with those, those additional skills. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I but think you, know, you did a wonderful job, Nathan. I had Good fun. Good job, Nathan. It's, it's fun yeah. to play with y'all. You you guys helped move the story <laughs> forward. Um, it was great. It was such a good time. It was fun to play on, on this end of it. Yeah. You made a good game, Jacob. <laughs> thank you. Yay. Also, thank you to everyone who's been subbing and gifting subs and, and giving bits and all that jazz. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you yeah, everyone. Yeah, thank you all, all so much. Thanks for watching yeah. and hanging out. Thanks we for helping us it. get to uh, to partner. Yeah. yeah. Partner. And partner. 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 This will be up and, on Drop uh, the Extra uh, yeah, after eventually. a while. Yeah. For rewatches. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'll post a link to the game when I, when I post it on Itch. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll tweet yeah. about that and maybe make like a community post or something so people can can find it and download it more easily and play it if you want to with your friends. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's it. That's it. Woo. Thanks we, for watching wow. everybody. If you're Thanks a, for watching. A, a member, if you support us on Patreon, uh, there's a Patreon exclusive bonus stream tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern time. Yeah. Yo, on Nathan's birthday. On Nathan's on birthday. Nathan's birthday. Otherwise then Jacob and I are streaming Sunday night. Yeah. yeah. All right. 
Goodbye, everybody. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 We're sorry. Sorry. Sorry.